What's up everybody, I'm Noah from PhoneDog.com, and you know, just because Windows Mobile 6.5 is dead to rights, doesn't mean that they've stopped making phones for it. Nope, not at all, it's the LG Fathom, it's a new Windows uh, 6.5, it actually runs 6.5.3, smartphone from LG for Verizon, and uh, you know, kidding aside, there are tons of people still using Windows Mobile 6.5, and whether or not they migrate to Windows 7, or they go to a different platform, uh, you know, or some of them might just stay on Windows 6.5 because there are a lot of legacy apps, a lot of enter enterprise installs, a lot of, you know, a lot of people have a lot of reasons to keep using Windows 6.5. And, um, you know, it's nice to see, I guess, that uh, <laughs> I'd prefer to see an upgrade path. But, you know, it's nice to see that at least they're still getting uh, some current hardware uh, until Windows Phone 7 comes out with, you know, better specs and such. And so Verizon and LG have served it up the Fathom. So this is $149.99 on contract. It'll be available for pre-order on May 27th. Uh, the ship date, the street date, date it's in stores is June 3rd as of right now. We'll see if they hit that. But uh, $149.99 on contract after a $100 mail-in rebate. And so here's the device, the Fathom. Thanks to LG, uh, Verizon. Thanks to LG and Verizon for the loaner. Uh, this one has been, you can see it's been programmed already probably. So, you know, not all the film on it. Those of you who like the... The film peeling sound, sorry, we won't get to hit you up with uh, all that goodness on this one. But uh, it's got a 3.2 inch display, slide out QWERTY board, one gigahertz processor. Um, you can see Windows 6.5 loading up in the box. You get, yeah, this one's been used already. <laughs> in the box, you get, uh, you get your uh, USB cable. It's uh, USB to micro USB. And then the charger looks like it's a global charger, so you can uh, pop that off. And then you get, yep, you get a few adapters with it. You get the uh, European and the Australian and uh, the UK plug. So, world phone, you can go jet setting around the globe with your Windows, with your Fathom. Except if you're me, you can't. I am the worst peripheral person ever. Battery covers, these plugs, you know, I don't know. I just, I have, sometimes they're not... They're not very well made, but I have more trouble than the average uh, professional phone reviewer with these things, I think. Also in the box, your VZ Access Manager software. Uh, you get 30 days full free of uh, Windows Mobile uh, synchronization. Uh, Office Mobile pre support preloaded on the phone. There's your global support guide. So there's a SIM card slot in the phone, and if you go uh, roaming around the globe, you can... Um, you can use it on GSM networks abroad. I'm imagining Vodafone is probably the official roaming partner. Slide out QWERTY board. Uh, somewhat similar. This is kind of the way the LG phones have been looking lately. Actually, this is kind of reminiscent of the Droid a little bit. Uh, the Ally as well, LG's new Android phone for Verizon. Just with, you know, the QWERTY board kind of offset left and then the D-pad on the right. Uh, in this case, they're not offset keys and they're squared up, whereas the Ally, they were a slightly different shape, but uh, kind of similar vibe anyway. So let's try out the keyboard right away. We'll go to the messaging and we'll create a new message. A little haptic feedback going on there. And... Jumped over... Globally roaming sheep dog. Whoops. So how'd I do? Uh, a little period after the quick brown there. I didn't mean to hit that. Well, I got the period is... I must have hit double space or something. Uh, is that how I got it? Yeah, I must have hit double space to get the automatic keyboard. Uh, automatic period. But the keyboard seems pretty good. It's got the space bar down between the V and the B in the last row, the bottom row of buttons, similar to the Ally, which is something I personally don't like. doesn't bother some people. Uh, and I'm sure if you own this phone and you use it, you know, day in, day out, you get used to it pretty quickly. Action on the keys feels pretty good. Uh, space bar was a little bit tight, but the other keys, uh, I think that's probably just because it's new. But in general, kind of a nice, firm click response. Uh, nice to see the Ally also nice action on that keyboard as well. So good on you, LG, with the recent keyboards. Uh, backlit, as you can see, dedicated number row. Uh, if you want to get your punctuation marks, you're going to have to do function. Uh, the double space to period is nice, but, you know, your uh, comma, period, uh, key, or what do you call it, question mark, thank you, all your other punctuation, the symbol keys are function keys, but you do have, uh, you've got your space bar, you've got, or your uh, backspace key, rather, double wide space bar, return key, you've got caps lock, 
Uh, the indicator is just on the uh, on the screen there. No, no separate light. Uh, and so there you go. Uh, D-pad down here, like we said, and then you've got the full-on touchscreen. Three buttons on the bottom: uh, call, hang up, and your Windows key. So I'll take you back to the Start menu. Look at the Start menu real quick. We've got Visual Voicemail. You've got uh, City ID, kind of a location-based service app. Verizon Navigator, VZ Navigator. There's Bing. Uh, spacebar or the spacebar. The touchscreen feels pretty good, pretty responsive. Microsoft My Phone support, Microsoft uh, Marketplace, some other Microsoft stuff, MSN Money, uh, et cetera, et cetera. Of course, Active Sync. Um, and then you can also we'll go back here and you can also do your. Uh, if I could get the XT9 on, I guess. Gonna say it looks like you can you can text in. Oh, I see. It is actually there. We go. Okay, so you got your XT9. You can turn on and off for your autocomplete, and uh, you can hide the keyboard as well. All that stuff. Side of the phone here on the right spine, you've got your micro SD card slot. Uh, there's no card pre-installed. I'm gonna check the data sheet here. Yeah, supports officially up to 16 gigs of memory. Uh, you've also got dedicated buttons for the camera and application shortcut, so that'll take you, well, shortcut key goes to the task manager. Uh, on, whoops, hey now. <laughs> on top, your uh, call and hold switch. On the back, 3.2 megapixel camera. On the other spine, left spine, three and a half millimeter headphone jack, rocker switch, and then your uh, USB port, also with, uh, Oh, the reset button. Okay. I was like, what's the R circle port? It looks like the reset button. And then on the back, we showed you the camera. And uh, it looks like a little stylus there. So it's a res uh, resistive touchscreen, but it did seem pretty, pretty responsive, which was good. Uh, phone also has Wi-Fi support, 802.11bgnn, which is nice. Like we said, a 1 gigahertz processor, uh, Bluetooth 2.1, Windows Player 10... Uh, One-touch speakerphone, text-to-speech, and voice-activated dialing. I'm reading off of the data sheet. You can tell. <laughs> uh, Office Mobile pre-installed. Let's see if we can find the Office Mobile here. There we go. Office Mobile. Firing right up. Uh, we'll go to OneNote Mobile. We'll press New to create. It's pretty zippy. The one gigahertz processor in there. So there you go, quick tour, quick look around. The LG Fathom, again, for Verizon. It's a uh, Windows Mobile 6.5.3 phone, perhaps the last of the Windows Mobile devices that, that we may ever see uh, as they transition to Windows Phone 7. Luckily, they dropped the... Yeah, kind of hard to type. It's not meant for thumb typing there. We'll use the keyboard. Uh, as they transition to Windows Phone series or 7 series, but they dropped... The series, thankfully, and uh, it's now just Windows Phone 7, which is good because Windows Phone 7 series was a terrible name. We'll open up Phone Dog real quick, get a little browser experience before we let you go. Again, $149.99 on contract after rebate, uh, pre order on May 27th, street date of June 3rd. It's, you know, it's a nice phone. It's a nice, uh, you know, if you still need Windows Mobile 6.5 and you want some more speed because you've got those legacy apps you're running, uh, it seems pretty zippy so far. Nice to see that. And uh, the hardware feels pretty solid. Again, the, the uh, yeah, it's pretty responsive there, definitely. You know, you're, gonna, you're not going to get the resistive touchscreen, but um, the 1 gigahertz processor seems like it's doing its job, which is nice. And the keyboard, like I said, is pretty good. Uh, nice action on the keyboard. Again, I don't like the space bar in that bottom row of keys between the V and the B, but I think that's something you get used to, and I think that that's something that doesn't bother everybody. You know, it's resistive, not capacitive, but I, I have to try the pinch to zoom test anyway, because that's just how silly I am. Much, much more on the Fathom. Is it going to rotate the... No, maybe not. I don't know. Anyway, much, much more on the Fathom over on PhoneDog.com, along with, of course, uh, everything we can find on the change from Windows Mobile 6.5 to Windows Phone 7 on PhoneDog.com. Till next time, my name is Noah. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you later. Bye-bye.